Let's take a look at calculating logarithms. I find that logarithms are a topic um, that intimidates a lot of students. Just because the word logarithm is just different, it's just weird, it sounds like kind of like another language, we don't use it all the time. But really logarithms are really pretty straightforward once you see it, once it's explained clearly. So let's take a look. Really logarithms are just kind of like another word for using exponents. So here's a, an example. So this says log base 5 of 25 equals 2. What this really means is you kind of just have to memorize who goes where, what each spot represents. What this really means is 5, so the number that's the base, 5 to the 2, so 2 being the exponent, equals 25. That's what a logarithm really means. It means this number to the this power equals that. That's how we read it. That's all it is. That's it. That's the whole deal. And we go from there. That's the foundation of logarithms. So let's take an example. If I said log um, base 3 of 9 equals what? So you'd have to ask yourself, 3 to the what is 9? And the answer is 2. 3 squared is 9. So log base 3 of 9 is 2. This expression equals 2. You could cross that out and write a 2. That's what this is. That's what that word means. One last thing. If you see a log with no base written, so log 100, actually let's do 1,000. Um, so log of 1,000, if they don't tell you the base, it's an assumed 10. That's the way we work. That's the agreement that mathematicians have. So if there's no number written here, it's like it's a 10. So you ask yourself, 10 to the what is 1,000? And the answer is 3. 10 cubed is 1,000. So log base 10 of 1,000, that whole expression equals or is another word for 3.